Hello, today I'll be showing you how to decompile Kodak games using this uh, Kodak recompilation tool. At least I think that this stands for. <laughs> um, we'll be using this tool to decompile uh, a test project that I've made for this video, and uh, I'll I'll be showing you how it's done. So uh, I have made this simple project here. Um, all you do in this, you just click a button. It shows. Um, yeah, how many times you click the button and the circle around the cursors, uh, the size increases every time you press this button. And you know all the logic is here, really simple. Uh, it's all the code. So first thing, uh, let's download this tool. You have to go to the releases tab. Then from here, there are like different versions. I'm on Windows at the moment, so I'll be using the Windows build. We'll be waiting for that to download and then let's open this and I'm gonna drag these to my desktop. You can place these anywhere but because uh, I'm making a video I feel like the, the, them being in the desktop is way easier for you guys to follow. So let's open up the decompilation tool, uh, press OK and then if the PCK file here is encrypted you have to provide the encryption key here and then press set. Mine is not so I don't have to do that. Um, also, you have to know the encryption key. Uh, this doesn't find it for you. And here, uh, I go into the, my into my project folder. And here, uh, this is where, like, if the PCK file is embedded uh, into the executable, you have to open up the .exe file. If 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 it's separate, you have to pick the PCK file. Okay. Uh, then just press open. And here we can see, like, yep, seems to have worked. There's all the, you know, it looks, looks like my game <laughs> right here. And then you can also do only extraction, which is like, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't make a project out of it. It's just, it's like, it's like extracting a zip file. It just dumps the all, dumps all the details out of the PCK file, but we're going to do full recover, full recovery, which also generates the project.codo file for us, for us to be able to open it, uh, in our editor as well. So let's add a destination folder to my desktop. I'm just gonna call it my uh, cool game decompiled. Okay, select current folder and extract. Here we can see also the, uh, which coded version was used for this game, uh, 4.2.1. This is important if, for example, you made a game two years ago, three years ago, and you didn't even remember uh, which editor was used, you can, you can see it here. And then, yes, our folder. And you know, it does look kind of similar. Then just without this, you know, it looks it looks kind of similar. Um, let's open up this and let's see what's what's in here. And you know, it looks kind of familiar. Um, there's like even the comments are preserved. This is, I think, this is way too easy. But there's not that much that the code of uh, authors can do about this, except like. I feel like comments being part of the PCK, like the package file, I think it's a bit unnecessary. I don't know why they have, they even preserve the comments. I think that's a bit dumb. Uh, the funny thing is like in code of, in code of three, the comments are not preserved. So if you export the game in code of three and you decompile it with this tool, there, there will not be comments. But in code of four projects as of now, as of 4.2.2 still, you know, uh, this is not the newest code, but I know for a fact that uh, on the newest version as well, like the comments are preserved for some stupid reason. Um, yeah, it, it's this easy. And this is, I feel like something you should know about just because, you know, if you're making games, you should protect your game at least somehow, like add some protection to it, not just, not just export it like this. I, um, it's way too easy to decompile and take advantage of I hope you like this video and maybe share it to someone who's making a game and you know reminding of them like you know remember this you should do something about this and not just leave it leave it be vulnerable I guess subscribe I'm trying to grow up this channel um, yeah take care boys